What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel today. Me and the beautiful Miss Julie are out on Pensacola Beach. We are chasing pompano. We are chasing redfish. We are chasing black drum. We are chasing anything that wants to eat. The fog finally burned off this morning. And me and the one you all know and love are going to try to put a few fish on the beach for y'all. Fingers crossed you guys like this kind of content. Do me a favor, subscribe to the channel, smash that like button. It really does help push our videos out. We're gonna soak some baits. Hopefully get on a pile of fish, y'all. Let's go. So right here is the sandbar. It's in real close. So it's easy to get over that first sandbar, no problem. The second sandbar is right here. There's a little change in the color of the water. It gets lighter by the sandbars. It's too far to actually cast past, but we can cast to it here. It comes in and goes back out further, just right here. And then over here, it starts to go out further. So as we were walking, looking for a spot this morning, that's why we picked this spot. All right, gang, I think we're fish on down here at the end. There was definitely something tugging on it. I don't know if it's fully committed. Oh, I think he's on there. I think he's on. All right, gang, we are hooked up. First fish of the morning. On there. Looks heavy, huh? Yeah. Feel like a pump or? Did it come off again? What in the world is going on? No, I have a fish. Oh, you do have a fish. It's just very small. Oh no, it's a good, it's a good size whiting. Boy, that guy didn't fight at all, guys. Sorry, that's why I sat there I silently, like I didn't I know how to speak. Just had angriness going on. Then. Because I thought nothing was on there. Good start to the day. A little, little sandwich, a little taco action. Friends are always happy when we get lighting. Heck yeah. This is his favorite. Very weird hit. All right. He, he ate the top drop. He ate ghost shrimp. With uh, fish bites. I think that's crab flavor. The peach color. I just think it's a, crab. Just on a green get em bead on the top with a ghost shrimp. And I really didn't know he was on there. Well, it's a nice surprise. You guys, Brent just uh, was walking by this pole and I screamed at him that there was a fish on there. Let's see if he can get it to come in. What's it feel like? Whiting, guys. Whiting? whiting. Oh there man, Brent's favorite. Taco time, y'all, taco time. Good catch. I They're will here. take it. They are here. <sighs> Yeah, he's definitely size. Oh yeah, he's 10 inches. So he, it came on the top drop. Yep, top drop, ghost shrimp on a green get em rig. Or no, I don't remember. Or this might've been one Julie made. I can't remember. I, I'm, I'm in it. too many different rigs. Here's the thing, you guys. I mimic the good rig. So if I'm tying, they look identical or very similar to Chip the Sinker guy's rigs which is uh, the Bruno rig. Or I'll also do the green get them rigs with the green beads. All right, gang, we're fish on again. I hope it got on. We were doing bait swaps. We were moving rods. Hopefully it's a whiting that just ran right in. He stayed on? All right, he is on. We're, we're, we're in the process of making a move, switching rods, rebaiting stuff. I wouldn't mind to see another whiting at the beach. I'm not gonna lie, it's not guys. Another whiting. It's not biting like a pompano. All right. Either. It's not fighting quite like a pompano. So hopefully it's another taco for me, y'all. She's not talking, so I have no idea what's going on, gang. No idea. Because I think nothing's going on anymore. Well, it. dang it. Yeah, both. Look at that. I put uh, double ghost shrimp. Yeah, he got both of them. Huh. 
We're gonna rebait, we're gonna move closer. Is there a fish on it? Yeah. Okay. Maybe it's a little whiting. Yeah. Yes, there's something. Another whiting looks like, guys. Yep, another whiting. There we go. That's three for the box. I'll take them. We got family coming in town. We promised them some fish tacos. Yep. We got fish fry later on this week, so. So it's a good day. Mission accomplished. Hit the top drop. That's a green get em rig. And actually, I have fish gum on it. His new pink and yellow. And a plain old shrimp. Swallowed that hook. There we go. There we go, guys. Number three. All right, gang. I think we're fish on again. There's such small, light bites today. Like the look on Julia's face right now tells me there's probably not a fish on anymore. I just don't think they're committing to it. Frustrating. Joey's getting angry, guys. She's probably gonna take a swing at me pretty it's soon. Angry. It got the bait. See? I think they're just probably. I apologize, guys. I had my camera on, didn't realize it. Julie hollered fish on. I shut it off. This guy Quality. Quality camera work. She said he feels like a pretty good fish, y'all. Well, better than what we got. Better than the 11 inch whiting that I just caught. That it might feel like a little bit like a pompano. Come on, be a good fish. Here it comes, here it comes. He's behind me, Brent. Right. Oh, he's over there. Oh, yeah, pompano. Woo, woo, woo. Pompano, pompano, pompano. There we go, guys. Targeted species acquired. Did you step on something? What'd you step on? Thing. <laughs> these are amazing sand spikes and to help get them in the ground <laughs> there are these little metal footies that you can push with we need to pull it out of this wet sand because it's eroding the sand i just sliced my foot open oh yeah you did cut it pretty good gang but i, I got a pompano so. we're gonna we're gonna call it a day i'm taking her to the er no, we're done friend. all right she said no no one wants the drama all right let's get this fish undone he's little probably bit. gonna be a little short but uh, we're here with Nelson, one of our good fishing buddies. Yeah. He has yet to catch a, pom catch a pompano from the beach. So I'm gonna go sneak some go shrimp on his rods that he's setting up and see if we can get him on a fish. He's stubborn. We're gonna go put it on for him and tell him he has to use it. Oh man, I really ripped him. Before. You wanna go? All right, nose to fork. Little reminder, since pompano haven't been here for a while, He's just over 11. Yep, about 11 and a half, guys. He has a keeper. I'll throw him back. I think we're going to throw him back. I like to keep a little bigger, let these guys throw. All right, guys, we're going to... He's 11 and a half, but I think we're going to let this guy go. We're looking for some bigger ones. we got a couple whiting in the cooler for tacos already. So we're going to let that guy go grow up. And one of y'all can catch him when you come down. He's still on. I see him tugging at it. There we go, guys. We're fish on. Correct? We are fish on? I hope so. <laughs> she said, I hope so, guys. It's been one of those it's, days. This is the kind of day we've had. A lot of misses, a lot of little tiny bites. <laughs> All I want is some whiting tacos. They should bend my rod over and stay hooked. You feel anything? Yeah, oh, yeah, he's on there. there. I saw him shake that time. Come on, be another taco for me. Here he comes, guys. Here he comes. Here he comes. Oh. We're up to measure him, but it'll be close. I think he'll make 10. Oh, yeah, he's 12. They love that Uno, Rick. Love some ghost shrimp. I would love me a bigger fish. Where I'm not questioning if there's one on there or not. I'll get this guy in. See how short they're striking in? He didn't even get it in the mouth, guys. This is crazy. That's why my day has been hectic. We can reuse that ghost shrimp, though. Yeah. 
All right, we'll measure them, see if we can keep them. We don't like to keep them unless they're 11 or 12, guys. I mean, there's no size limit on it, but. Cleaning's easier when they're a little bigger. Yeah, when they're a little bigger, they're easier to fillet. All right, you guys, I am a lady of my word. Here's that ghost shrimp. I'm taking over to Nelson. bring it over there and stick it on one of his rods because okay, he really goes shrimp this guy really deserves to catch a pompano nelson are you fully baited on all your rods huh? are you fully baited yeah well you gotta put a shrimp on this one here i'm gonna put a ghost shrimp on there do you know how to do it nope i'll show you I've never used that before Okay, so Nelson's got some electric chicken on there, which is one of my favorites. That's all I do, Nelson. The tail. Oh, yeah, I see it. First, it has a little hard spot on it. I turn it around and go right through the head. Oh, okay. Just because that's another hard spot. So that's it. But then you got to use the magic thread. Yeah, I need to get me some. Oh, they sell them at all the bait shops. Yeah. And you're just going to wrap it. That's it. See how that hook is kind of buried? Yeah. Let's see if I can get it to start going. All right. Nelson is set up. He's going to get on his pompano. I hope. You will. First one. That would be amazing. Yes, it will. That was a good sign. Nelson's fished with us before. You might notice him. He did some amazing net jobs in some sheep's head videos. He is a Louisianian who moved down to Florida. Yeah. Good all around guy. Just learning surf fishing. So he thinks he's going to learn from us. Little does he know that we just come to the beach and have fun. <laughs> you guys, Nelson's on. Nelson's on. Come on, let it be a pompano. Oh, he's on there. He's on there, gang. He's on there. Oh, I see them bouncing. Oh, he's getting close, guys. There he comes. Papa no. Nope. Puppy drum. Puppy drum. It's a good fish there. Nice job. Go, man. Nice job. First fish. First fish from the Gulf in Florida. Yes, ma'am. He's using a Bruno rig. Bruno rig. Bottom drop. Did it have a shrimp on there? Yeah, it had a uh, uh, ghost shrimp. Ghost shrimp. Ghost shrimp. Man, that means you need to come get some more ghost shrimp from your neighbors. <laughs> With the lime uh, fish bite. Have you ate puppy drum? Nope. Oh, you're, you have to. They're a good fish. We'll get Nelson the pliers and uh, he'll get that in the cooler. Awesome job. Thank you. That is what it is all about for Brian and I. Just to help out people passionate about the sport. Get them on their first fish. Next, he's aiming at a pump. But once he eats that puppy drum, he'll figure out how good they are. All right, gang. I think we're on. Julie was sitting on the ground behind the rod. Tired. She said she's tired. You want to know the truth of it, guys? I snored all night. Oh, so bad, too. And we had guests at the house. And my wife slept in, the, in my office on, on the floor. The floor. <laughs> I didn't notice it until I got up, but she wasn't in the bed. So she's, yeah. a, little, she's a little slower, a little quieter than normal. Is there a fish on there still? You know, you know, married people. Is there a fish on there still? I don't know. <laughs> but we're telling a good story. When you've been married almost 25 years, sleep is the priority, not the hurt feelings. So, <sighs> the living room carpet, or, got, or what was it, the office? The office. Well, that guy didn't get the hook. But he did get our bait. Dang it. Whitings, man. Sneaky 
fish today. Craziest whiting bite we've ever had, guys. Every whiting is deep. Normally they're close. Today, they're way out far. And they don't like to hook up today. Gang, we're on again. This was a massive hit this time. We were down putting the other bait back in the water. And Julia's hooked into a good one. That's a good one. That's a good fish. Bouncing like it might be a pump. Keep that Sputnik moving if you can. I'm trying, Brian. He's happy. All right. Looking like a good fish, guys. I think you want to stay on this side. Yep, there you go. Come on, bud. Come on, be a good, be a stud. Be a giant. Be a giant for me one time. One time be a giant. No, no idea, guys. No it's idea. It's shaking a lot. Said it's shaking like crazy. I haven't caught a glimpse of it yet. It's coming. It's got to be close, right? Look, look at this. Speed. Said he's got to be close, guys. Here he comes. Oh, big drum. Wow, great fish. Great Is fish. Drum? Another drum. That's a good fish there. That guy's going to push 20, I bet. Nicely done. All right, green get him, Riggs. Yep, green get him, bead. Top drop. That was Go ghost shrimp. I can't remember Plain. what bite I put on there. I don't think I put any bites on that one. All right, so they liked yeah. it naked? So if Julie puts the ghost shrimp on, she typically puts fish bites or fish gum. Sometimes. Depends on how well that ghost shrimp goes off. I typically don't put anything with to it. To me, you put bites or gum on, it's just extra security in case you do lose some of your bait. Yep. We'll get the guy measured up, get him in the cooler. I'll probably keep that guy. That's that yeah. a good bite. I've been waiting for a good bend all day. I really wanted that to be a pump, the oh, way that so thing bent. <laughs> so did I. He's drumming at me. Man, that's a beautiful hook set. Yeah, right in the bottom lip. Those old owner hooks with the green bead. All right, there we go. Good job. Nicely done. That's a beautiful fish, guys. Not sad about that at all. Hey, Nelson, Nelson, go, go, go. That's our pole, though. Oh, crap. <laughs> go. <laughs> all right, guys, we're gonna, that drum is definitely slot. We'll get back to him later. This is the Uno rig on this one that I just put out with a ghost shrimp. You stay on there? He's on there. He's on there. Ah, good. He's on, guys. I'm going to duck under, spin you around so the sun's not right in your eyes. Let's turn it on, guys. It's turning on now. He's running in like it's going to be another drum. He's not going side to side. Here we go, guys. Got to be getting close. He's there. I haven't seen him yet, y'all. I see him, Nelson. He's coming. Oh, Nelson got himself some tacos. Number two. What a day, Nelson. First yeah. lighting, first black drum, now we need a first pump. Good job, he hit the go shrimp and that is an Uno rig. So it's a single drop um, made by Mr. Chip, the sinker guy. And I just got done telling Nelson that we're switching that rig. It was a double drop to a single wrap drop because those whitings love it. All right, Nelson's gonna get that guy taken care of. Way to go, bud. Thank you. Alright guys, we are back <laughs> from Nelson catching that whiting. We're going to get a quick measurement on this drum. I'm guessing somewhere close to 20. 18 to 20, I might guess. Just under 19. 19, guys. Here we go. Alright, I'll take a couple more uh, fish flurries like that. Heck yeah. Get them let out and in the box he goes. I know I just talked about it, but this is the Uno rig. It's just a single drop. For some reason, the whitings go after those Uno rigs. So that's what Nelson was using. 
we try to always link what we're using down in the description box so you guys make sure you uh go check it out you'll find the website for the product that we uh love to use Okay, right, she said he's a good fish. I like it when she says stuff like that. It's getting a little bit later in the day now, but the whiting bite has been running in. Right it now. has been on today, guys. I am not going to complain. We haven't had a solid whiting bite in a minute. Oh, he's thumping. He's thumping. I right, see. Oh, another whiting. Another keeper. Heck yeah. Was that regular shrimp or was that a ghost that shrimp? That was regular shrimp. Oh, look at I'm that. Lazy. We actually caught something that wasn't on the ghost shrimp today, guys. All right, guys, I think we're hooked up again. We're in the middle of doing a bait check. He is on there, yeah? Might be a whiting. She said it's probably going to be another whiting, guys. She's miserable catching these things. I love every minute of it. Oh, she doesn't like it. She wants only big fish. Big fish don't taste like whiting. Whiting yeah. is delicious. How can you be miserable when you're... It's a nice whiting. I haven't seen it yet. Oh, yeah. Another good one. How can I be miserable? What am I doing with you? I don't know. How could you be miserable when you're fishing with me? What do you all think? Tongue in cheek, or you think she means every every word of that? Every word. She's full of it, guys. That one's a nice one. Yep, another good whiting. Still didn't really put up a fight. Hey, we got a lot of fish. That's all that matters. I like a good fight. And we got no bait left on that thing yeah. at all. He swallowed it. So I'm getting tired and lazy. But I got it. I got it. You go do your thing. All right, guys. This one came on the green get em rig. I don't know which drop it came on. Probably the bottom because there's nothing left on it. But this one was out far again. He was a top drop. Top drop, she said. Top drop, green get him rig. Oh no, you got a fish on there. I know, I said set it, drag it. Sorry guys, we thought he got off. That's why we were not neither one of us were talking. Oh well, there's another whining. That's a little better one, too. A little bigger. Uh, I think we got him that time, guys. He just sat here and messed with it the whole time. Can you feel the fish on there? I might have to adjust that sinker. I don't feel it. I don't feel it. I know, but it's that light. We all thought this fish got off. <laughs> and he's on there. Fish and trout down in Louisiana, so he thinks like I do. He's not used to fighting these little small whitings. Yeah. I didn't feel him. He, he wasn't shaking at all. I thought it was just uh, the Sputnik. <laughs> and now Nelson's got a good plate of tacos. Well, we haven't had a good whiting bite like this in a minute, so I will yeah. take it. Good job, Nelson. Got another big hit, guys. That one I think stayed hooked. Oh, yeah, he's on there. He is on there. That's a good fish, guys. That's Pompa Redfish. That's, that's a big fish. That's a big fish there, guys. That might have been the one that hit and took us a little bit ago. Took our half our rig with it. That's a redfish. Don't tighten any more on that drag, though. You get him. You got him. Good job. Good job. Oh yeah, it's a good fish, guys. This is a good fish. Come on, stay pinned. Stay pinned. Ooh, he does not want to come in. No, he does not. Give him that 11 foot dagger, everything it could ask for on this fish, guys. Is 
Is it, is it fighting? Yeah. Oh, there it goes. I see him now. I haven't seen the fish. Have you seen the fish yet? No. It's on the sandbar, though. All right. I do not want to move him. You'll get him. Here he comes. Here he comes. I don't see him yet. Right there. You're slightly behind him. Come on, fish. Get up here. There. Oh, man. Oh, it's big red fish. I just saw it. Yep. Nice and easy. You get him. You got him. You got him. That's a big fish. Come on, baby. Come on. All right, guys. I'm going to flip you up here in a second, and I'm going to work land this fish. If I lose you, I apologize. Oh, heck yes. That. Boom, that. baby. <laughs> Nicely done. Made we through all those little uh, deep squirt pets. That's a dandy, too. Ooh, drink it, them, Rick. Yep, on the green beads. Ghost on shrimp. a ghost shrimp. That okay. made the night, y'all. Yeah, it let loose just like it was supposed to. Oh yeah, my I'm guess is. I'm gonna measure him just for bragging rights, but yeah, he is a beauty. I bet that's the fish that hit it before oh, I'm and sure. came back for it. I'm sure. That was fun. Heck yeah. That made my whole day worth it. That's awesome. We're gonna get him on hooks. We'll get Look back. Up. Look at that perfect. Yeah, right in the corner of the mouth, just like you drew it up. Whew. He's got the back one in his fin. See that one hooked in the fin? All right, the beast is free. Oh, that was that was a fun fight. That was epic. Nicely done. All right, let's get him measured up back in the water. What does uh, Demo always say? I don't know. Stop the picture and release. CPR. CPR. I Catch, you were gonna... picture, and release. We were in the middle of doing bait, guys. See? She's actually got bait thread dangling off of her bait <laughs> measure him real quick get him back in the water so he has a healthy release Ooh, over the board i'd say about 34 35 yeah. board board's 30 inches that guy was about four or five inches past well 34 35 somewhere in there i'm a happy girl let's snap a photo and we're gonna get him back all right guys julie's gonna go in and get this guy released girl guy girl whatever it is do me a favor if you guys like that fish Head down there and hit that big smash that like button for me. Greatly does help us out. Oh, oh, well. He was like, yeah, lady, I don't need you to revive me. I'm out of here. Peace. Slimy slap on that day. Oh, you really you guys, got me. Thanks for tuning in. We appreciate it. It was a great day at the beach. Spring has sprung here on the panhandle. Until next time, keep it real.